Sup loser, Skokurov here and about to deliver your liver to a skeever. Pirate, pirate, pirate. <laughs> so I've been officially modding Counter-Strike for 10 years, which is absolutely insane. Starting from map protectors and then going to sprites and skins. Today I'm going to talk about one of my best skins to date, and that is my Counter-Strike Co. Butterfly Knife. So for context, why Counter-Strike Co. and not Counter-Strike Go? Well, that's because I like puns, you fucking bacchus. And also because it's a partial port, so I guess it's a double entendre on top of that shit. You see, back in the day, ports between Counter-Strike Go and Counter-Strike 1.6 were forbidden to post on Game Banana due to Steam rules or some shit like that. But after 2015, maybe 2016, I'm not gonna check this out, you go and check that for yourself, you know, this isn't an educational video, this is a cockro video, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> so then Steam like updated their rules of porting skins and basically allowed everything, you know. And then the site was just flooded with ports. Some of the ports were just dog shit terrible, some of the ports were mid, and some of the ports were a little bit good, you know. So the best ports of the gloves and animations from some of the weapons from Counter-Strike GO to 1.6 were made by a guy called Rutons, but even he couldn't really pour the textures in a good manner because they just can't be translated well to this older game. You see, when you port something from Counter-Strike GO to Counter-Strike 1.6, a lot of the detail from the textures were added by the engine itself because you have different maps of textures that simply Counter-Strike 1.6 cannot handle. Other problems of the textures were of course black edges that formed due to improper UV maps. So some of the skins ended up looking very stretched with black marks all over them. Also the models were unnecessarily high poly that made it just horrible, you know? It made me want to barf. <laughs> so I did what I do best and I just decided to do something insane because I'm an insane person. Person? <laughs> okay, that's going into the video. And an ambitious person as well. And actually made the model, made the UV map, and made a texture that I feel like it was really well suited for a Counter-Strike GO weapon. And I basically made it very cartoony, you know. <laughs> I also paired this model with the Ruton Sport of the Butterfly Knife with his original animations. And by the way, disclaimer, I actually asked for his permissions in order to post the original skin. So, you no, know, everything is legit. So after a lot of hours, the model was made, the UV map was made, and I basically wrapped up everything, compiled uh, the model, and uploaded it, you know. And the second I did, it was just amazing, because I actually made something from scratch that looked very good, you know, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, you know. It was a fun-looking skin, but uh, around a year later, I made a colorful pack of the knife in order to basically diversify it a little bit. But then six months later I was like, you know, my original idea wasn't to actually make it colorful, I just failed to make it look realistic. So I went back, and I went back with kind of a vision, so I stocked up on some good quality music, I don't remember what the fuck music was at the time, I guess it's, it was 2017, so... Uh, I don't know, <laughs> I sincerely don't remember. So, you know, I started retectioning it and everything was just falling into place, you know. I had a vision in my mind and I was just imprinting it on the knife itself. And after some time, you know, uh, I believe it took me like a month. No, no, it was actually two weeks, not a month. And holy shit, after it finished, it looked just amazing, you know. I was amazed by my own creation, you know. And I uploaded it and I was like... Yeah, this is, this is the best knife that I will ever make. And ever since, you know, I made a few knives myself and none of them just come anywhere close to this. This is my magnum opus, peak Kokorov, modeling, texturing and UV mapping. The only skin that uh, comes close to this was a retexture of the original knife for 
Counter-Strike 1.6. That was really good as well. That was when I was actually learning how to texture properly by imitating popular texturers at the time. Mostly the snake. Tech snake. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty much it, you know, this is the end of the story. Um, what, what, what? 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 Am I supposed to put something funny in the ending? Like, like what? Am, 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 I, am I a clown? Do you want me to dance? Do you want me to dance? I'm not dancing for you, buddy.